All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this quick video on how to rent out a bot. Now, in this current market, I wouldn't suggest to buy a bot, but of course, maybe I'll just make a video later on if you guys are interested in one. The first thing that you want to do when renting out a bot is obviously you need a marketplace. So one big marketplace that I know is going to be Botmart. So let me just pull up the page and show you guys how it looks like. So we're going to go to Twitter. So we go to Botmart. Um, this is of course if you don't have them on discord already so basically if you do not you would just go to their page in twitter join the discord click on the link it's going to be invite you go to their page and this is what it's going to look like all right so this is what it's going to look like uh to, to, to make this full page all right so you are in the botmar so botmar is one of the marketplaces where you can buy sell rent and do other things um sell other things like sell gmails uh even shoes and stuff like that but mainly it's just for bots one thing that i do want to advise is that not every single bot is rentable i'm not sure if that's a word but not every single bot you're able to rent uh for example for whatnot you're not able to rent out for valor you're not able to rent out trick or you're not able to rent out um and this is just because the bot is just made like that like uh the the you know the people that actually you know like the work for valor or or trickle um they made those copies so it wouldn't be able to you know rent out now there there is other ways to get a copy without purchasing the cop like a, a copy um that might be confusing but if you're like in a crew group sometimes you know valor or or trickle uh they will offer you know 200 dollars for the whole month to rent out the bot so that's one way to actually get the copy of valor or trickle but if you were to go in the marketplace like uh title or bot mart you're just not going to be able to get a copy now there is some people that actually do rent out the bot but it's high risk um just because Valor and Trickle, they don't like their bots being rented out and they kind of check their IPs and see if it's been if it's been changing a lot. And if it has, um, typically they will go ahead and clip those and and they'll they'll take away your key. Now, for example, other bots sell. Uh, you'll see that some of these bots that are forbidden to rent out. You'll see them in here. Like I said, Valor is not one of the bots that you can rent out now because it's unrentable. Again, I'm not sure if it's a word. Uh, typically these prices will be a little bit high, uh, higher so and it's higher because of the risk that they're taking so valor uh daily is 80 dollars prism 50 dollars noble 50 trickle 120 now this is a lot for uh you know for a day um dragon 190 so you can still rent out the bot you know trickle prism valor whatever but you are gonna pay way, 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 way more um, in compared to other bots. So for Wrath, you know, daily, and this is what people are, are are selling their rentals for, you know, per day or per drop is around $10. We're looking at the most maybe 15 or 20. I mean, it is what it is. You can still rent it out, but uh, you're just gonna have to pay a lot more. So basically what you wanna do is if you wanna rent out a bot, there's two things or two options that you, that you have either you can make a posting and say that you want to rent out um, wrath for example say your price and for the day or you can just go to the rental sell and see what what people are want to post um, for example uh, we have um, this guy so he wants to rent out wrath you know $40 for June July $90 daily $10 depends on drop uh, he has 600 references on on Twitter um, typically if you are a new person coming into the botting scene and you want to rent out your first spot, I would suggest to go with person that you see with the, with the most, uh, references. Uh, one thing that you want to do is click on their page, go to their Twitter. It's going to take you to their page. Now let me change my page so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So you would just go here and check out their page just to see if they're legit. Um, typically most people that do business in Botmar or title, they will have a legit, a legit check. I can't even say it today. A legit check, uh, posting. Um, so typically it's going to be pinned at the top. You just want to go ahead and click it and see their comments. You, this guy has around 500 comments. 
or references and uh, you can see you know what people posted obviously you just kind of want to skim through here and see what kind of business he's done legit 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 everything looks good um so you you know this guy's legit if you want to take a little bit further go to this guy's page go to title 6446 that's his discord number go back to discord all right have it pulled up here 6446 all right so we confirm that this profile and discord matches his twitter if you want to take it further further um something else that you can do is you can go back to twitter and i'll just pull up the page again so you guys can see and you would just message him and you would just say hey this is blah 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 am i talking to you on discord and it'll be like yeah that's me and that's if you have any suspicion that this person might not be the same person on discord again this is just to take it further um so for rental buying um one thing that i do want to mention is there is an option that you guys can take if you guys want to be super super safe um that is going to be to uh, have a middleman uh basically what a middleman is is that they they go ahead and they basically be the middleman so they confirm that the copy of the bot is legit um they make sure that the transaction is smooth um and they make sure that there's no scam or anything like that going on um if you guys want to have a little bit more information on that there is a tab here middleman service fee and it kind of goes over the payments on selling uh what their fees are and for example for bot rentals service fee of ten dollars or fifteen dollars uh, of the rental price honestly i do not use it um for for bot rentals just because you know it's it's only ten dollars or fifteen dollars for a rental per day um i only use middlemen if i'm gonna buy a bot or sell a bot uh, but if you guys want to be super 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 safe you guys can go ahead and do this i uh, want and this i'm just going to show you how, how to do it i'm not going to actually open up a ticket but you just go to middleman business open up a ticket you just put dash new middleman for you know your bot so if you want to do wrath new middleman for wrath or new middleman for mech and then you're just going to get the reply uh typically um depending on the time you'll get a person assigned to your ticket pretty quick um it may take some time if you do it at night it may take uh, you know half an hour to like 45 minutes i've had that you know before um yeah so that is going to be about it um this is just how to rent a bot pretty simple so i have nothing else to say um if you guys have any questions you guys can drop them down in the comments but that is going to be about it i'm just super sleepy it's like 12 already in the morning but good night guys or morning wherever you guys are